yet another instance of VVIP high-handedness. Now, this time from Uttarakhand. Now, seen involved in an altercation in the middle of the streets of Dehradun was Minister Prem Chand Agarwal, backed by his gunner. Now, in the video that has now gone viral, the duo can be seen thrashing two men after a brawl during a traffic jam. Now, the Congress seized the opportunity and slammed the BJP, saying its leader seemed to be drunk on power. The minister in question on his part claimed that the two men attacked him and tore his kurta first, leading to the altercation. और अपने आप को सोशल वर्कर कहता है लेकिन लोग उसे ब्लैक मिलर कहते हैं जितनी भी घटनाएं आज से पहले हुई है लगातार पुलिस में भी उसको पकड़ा गया है हमें को बार लोगों के द्वारा उसे पीटा भी गया है सब जानते हैं उसके बारे में और उसने मुझे गाली गलौज करने का प्रयास किया है क्योंकि मेरा शीशा खुला हुआ था गर्मी है तो मैं ए बहुत कम इस्तेमाल करूँ क्योंकि बारिश भी है उसके बाद जो वो गाली लगातार देता रहा तो मेरे सुरक्षाकर्मी को लगाइए क्या हुआ था उसने समझाया तुम गाली क्यों दे रहे हो तो उसने एक हाथ से मेरा ये कुर्ता मैं दिखा रहा हूँ ये कुर्ता पकड़ा जो मैं अभी इससे पहले ये पहन रखा था और उसने मेरे कुर्ते पे हाथ डाला और ये कुर्ता फाड़ दिया ये ये कीजिए ये फटा हुआ मेरी जेल उसमें सारा सामान गायब हो गया पैसा सामान जो भी इसमें चीज थी सब उसने छीनी है जय श्री राम साथियों साथियों ये प्रेमचंद अग्रवाल ने यहाँ पर मेरे साथ हाथापाई करी प्रेमचंद अग्रवाल के जो गनर हैं इन्होंने करी पुलिस के जो उनके साथ जो है क्या नाम है उसका कौशल विजुण इन्होंने सरेआम यहाँ पर ज्योति विकलांग स्कूल जो है इसके सामने सरेआम जार में हाथापाई करी मारपीट करी हमारे साथ अब ये हमारे पर ही जो उल्टा केस करने को जा रहे हैं All right, that was the complainant, of course, giving his reaction. This is, of course, yet another episode of VVIP High Handness in Uttarakhand that you see on your screens right now. This is um, with the fact that it has been reported from Uttarakhand. In fact, seen involved in an altercation in the middle of the streets, which you can clearly see in those pictures. Uh, on your screens is reported from Dehradun, um, where Minister Prem Chand Agarwal was backed by his gunner. My colleague Mohit joins me live on the broadcast for more inputs on the story. Um, good afternoon, Mohit. Clearly, another uh, episode of high handedness this time being seen in Uttarakhand. As you speak about this incident, has the police taken cognizance of the same? Has anything been filed in terms of this episode? Well, you see, uh, this incident happened in Rishikesh, and Prem Chand Agarwal, the cabinet minister in the cabinet of Uttarakhand, is also an MLA from Rishikesh. Now, what is being said by uh, the um, uh, the cabinet minister side is that while he was going for a program. Uh, his car was uh, stuck in a traffic jam and then he heard uh, two people abusing him and that is why he confronted them and then they started beating him up and that is why uh, this particular whole the incident happened but in the video we can also see that how uh, the uh, the uh, the said cabinet minister has comes out of the car and he thrashes he starts starts uh, starts thrashing the uh, the youth on the bike now the police has uh, filed a complaint but the complaint has been filed against the youth Uh, with the name of Mr. Negi and the other one who was seen being beaten up by the uh, said cabinet minister and his gunner. Now the sections of theft have also been included because the cabinet minister Prem Chand Agarwal has also claimed that while he was being beaten up, he was being attacked by these two bike bond men. Uh, his his pocket got torn and the money money that was there in the pocket was stolen by them and he, his kurta was also being torn by by the uh, by these people. But the video is very shocking. We can easily see that how MLA first comes out of the car and he starts hitting them. Now the sources from the other side also say that uh, these two people wanted to speak about the work in their constituency because Prem Chand Agarwal again and again I'm emphasizing on this fact is the MLA from that particular constituency and these two people wanted to talk to him but uh, MLA got angry over this and he started beating them. Now the police have registered a case but the case has only been registered against the people who got, who are seen in the video who are beaten be, who are being beaten up. Now the politics has also started on this particular issue while the Congress claims it's a clear case of BBIP racism and the action against the minister and his gunner should also be taken because they are the lawmakers. They cannot break the law. They uh, they need to follow the law and hence the action should be taken against them. Well, the argument that is being given from the cabinet minister side is that uh, uh, the two uh, youth abused him and that is why uh, and and the first uh, the, uh, the attack was from the, uh, the the two youth side. But in the video, as we can see that. Uh, Uh, the MLA and the cabinet minister comes out of his car. He started. Uh, he starts beating them up, and then his gunner also comes out. His private, his, his uh, security guard, which has been provided to him by the Uttarakhand police, and he also thrashes all those two people. Now you can also see in the video that how they are dragging one of the one of the man in the video, and they are pushing him towards the car. 
God forbid, if his head would have had serious injuries, then what exactly would have been the answer from the said cabinet minister? So the question that everybody is raising is that anything would have happened. We cannot say that what exactly happened over that uh, at that particular time, but a lawmaker shouldn't have taken law into his hand because in a public view, when a lawmaker and his uh, security official, if, it's, uh, if they beat somebody who, uh, uh, then this is very, very shocking. And this video has gone completely viral and the politics has also started over it. The Congress says only one side, for, uh, the right police forward. is hearing only one side is complained. Right, Mohit. Thank you very much for joining us on the broadcast and getting us all those details in terms of the story and also drawing things into perspective for our viewers. But for the moment, we leave it to that.